All right, so we are pulling out of Krause Springs. Just walked through the garden. If you haven't seen it yet, there is a video of a binaural walkthrough of the butterfly gardens here. Highly suggest you go watch that. Beautiful. With a, with a pair of headphones on. Yes. We just want to give our impressions of Krause Springs here and give you some thoughts on, on the park and let you know what you can expect if you come out to Krause Springs. We've been here probably four times, five times together. Half a dozen of these. Yeah, yeah something, something like that. that. Um, and I've been here a few more times solo as well. And you've been here with a couple times. With um, yeah, one or two times solo with your other friends. Yeah. Um, Crosby Springs is a is a pretty small park, um, maybe 20 or 30 acres, oh, yep. something like that. Uh, the camping is unique because it's a private campground, so it's completely open camping. You can really camp wherever you can find space and wherever you're okay staying. Um, so that means that when it gets really busy, you could have neighbors really close to you. Uh, it wasn't so bad. This time, uh, I mean, it was busy. A lot of the more people were this time than I remember seeing before, but there's still plenty of spots down further, further down the road. Yep. Um, so expect, you know, definitely around other people. It's it's not super spread out and quiet. You will hear your neighbors more than likely. Uh, but the main attraction, of course, is the springs itself, and the springs flow always. Um, they've never stopped flowing for any drought conditions, so it is one place that always has water, and that's why it is so popular. Uh, so the, they have the natural springs flowing into a man-made pool, so it flows through a man-made pool that you can swim in out of that, and then over the main waterfall into the natural pool below where there's uh, a beautiful cave. The cave is about 15 by 15 feet. Uh, it's really dark. Make sure you bring shoes if you're gonna go in there. The ground's kind of sticky and muddy. Sticky with sticks. Yes. Not, but not icky, sticky. Not sticky. Sticky, icky. Sticky, there's sticks. Sticks. Uh, and then, just got a bunch of rocks you can hang out in. The water 68 degrees, so it's nice and cold. The rope swing as well. And then there's the rope swing, yeah. So the rope swing is it's good. I mean, the kid, there were kids going off of it. Yeah. Maybe eight years old was about the youngest I saw go off of it. It might be a little small, uh, but it is a lot of fun. It's a great place to hang out and just enjoy some afternoons. So there's not really much hiking at all to be done there. A little bit right around the falls, but unless you forgot something in your campground, you gotta go up and down the stairs. Pretty much, it's really not a hiking park, so don't go there expecting you know any kind of long hikes or high up views or anything like that. It's really a more relaxed car camping, hang out by the water have some drinks if that's what you're into or bring food. Just make sure you don't bring any glass. They're really particular about that. So camping wise, you know, with the understanding that it's car camping, I'd rate Krause, honestly, probably like eight or nine out of 10. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a great campground. It's There's very easy going, very relaxing, yeah. convenient, it's just, Simple and fun and enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. I think the the uh, only thing that it, not that I would use it because we we only ever go for two maybe three nights at a time. Yeah. There's no hot water, so you're not going to get a you know a warm shower or anything like that that you get at some other campground. Yeah, you can swim in the springs to clean off yeah. a little bit, but it's cold. It is cold. It's very cold. Uh, no electric at the sites, no water at the sites, so you're going to have to have containers to bring that in uh, and just flashlights to have light outside. Um, the, they do have RV hookups. Mm -hmm. Those are the only sites that you can reserve. Yep. Uh, there's, there's 15, 20 15 sites? or 20, 
yeah, just a, it's a like row, that. just a nice long row of them, and I think there's 15 to 20 hookups. And those have, yeah, those of course have electric. I don't know if those, they've yeah, got they've got water. Water and septic, yeah. Maybe oh, the individual septic? Huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. And you can get water at the, they just have some bathrooms there that are built up, and there's some water spigot there in case you forgot while you're on water. Yep. I'd say the one thing that like would be even better about Crosby, but given where it is and what it is, I'm okay with it. It would be nice to have it be a little bit more remote. Maybe a little bit not as easy to get to, because then there would be just a little fewer people. But uh, even in spite of that, it's still a fantastic, enjoyable couple night getaway. Absolutely. So highly recommended. We'll be we'll be back again, of course. Oh, yeah. We do at least one trip a year here. Well, we hope, hope you guys have enjoyed watching everything we've filmed and uh, got a little insight into what Krause's like and can make a trip like this either here or someplace around you. Uh, love to see these videos encouraging people to get out and do this with your friends, your family, your kids. I think it's just a, it's a critical piece of life to be able to withdraw and separate yourself from the daily grind that we go through and, and makes you appreciate all the nice things we have like stoves and yeah. air conditioning. And air homes. conditioning. We'll be, we'll be glad to be back to it, uh, but it is, it is good to get out and get away from stuff for a bit. Well, until next time, stay connected, get outside. See ya.